pattern matching. We all do it. We all will see something in front of us, and if we can find any patterns to things that we've seen that are in any way similar, then we're going to we're going to match those patterns. We're going, oh, okay, I see that. Now, sometimes it's wrong. In fact, a lot of times it's wrong. I mean, we can see patterns in white noise, right? But do we control the pattern matching that we do? I mean, if you you can set out to try to find a specific type of pattern, but when it just comes to you're just in a situation and you see similarities to things that have happened to you in the past, do, do you have control of matching those patterns? Or it's just something your mind does. It's a subconscious thing. To me, it's a subconscious thing. Now, maybe to others, you everything is uh, a conscious decision. I don't know. But uh, someone dropped friendship with me after I... Uh, I said I was arguing that uh, we do pattern matching and we don't really control the patterns that we match. I mean, we can if we, like I said, we can if we specifically set out to do it, but most of the time, these patterns that we match all the time, it's going on all the time, we don't have control of. And he was trying to argue that, no, he doesn't do that. He doesn't do that. And I'm thinking, that's a bunch of fucking virtue signaling. I didn't say that. I, I, I was as nice as I could in the conversation, but he still dumped friendship, still dropped friendship with me. Um, a lot of this was started because um, they don't like the way I look at the news. He and one other person did this sort of a <clears throat> an intervention in, in a hangout trying to tell me how wrong I am about the way that I look at news, you know. Um, I like to get news from as many sources as possible, from as many viewpoints as possible. And every time I see a story, I go, okay, is this a valid story? Let's, let's look at it uh, on, from a bunch of other sources. And what are those sources? What's the sources that cover it are, are important too, right? It, and, you know, and it's especially important, you know, when, when I see a story and go, well, that sounds like horse shit. And then, you know, that's when I really start looking into it and I'm really skeptical, right? But, you know, to them, I'm, I should just pay attention to Associated Press, Al Jazeera, PBS, and, uh, oh, BBC, and, uh, uh, let me see, what, what was it? Okay, PBS, NPR, Al Jazeera, BBC, and Associated Press. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, it, they, they think those are the only valid places to get news from. And that those places are unbiased. And I'm like, everywhere has a bias. I, it's just weird. They're, they're, they're... I can't... I can't fathom wanting everyone around you to think the same way you do. I can't imagine just wanting that. That someone should want an echo chamber. Oh, an echo chamber is healthier for you. It's mentally healthier. And I'm like, is it? Is it? If you, if you put yourself in an echo chamber, it, anyone who thinks differently than you is an other. Is that healthy? Is that healthy when you want to have conversations with other people? Is that healthy? I mean, I suppose it might make you feel better for the period of time, but is it healthy in the long run? I don't know. I, 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 I don't want an echo chamber. So I guess that makes me a bad person, right? No, this whole thing about... Uh, uh, us matching patterns you know apparently i'm a bad person for matching some patterns you know so so we've got the the religious side of things saying oh you're an evil person because you think sinful thoughts and to think something sinful is a sin and then you have the other side that's saying oh well thinking of people in that way is degrading um uh, thinking of that way 
pe- people that way is wrong. It's it's uh, and and you you should feel bad for thinking of people in that way, you know, from the from the social justice uh, 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 ideologies, uh, the dogma that comes from them. You know, oh, well, it's degrading to women to think this. It's degrading to this group to think this. It's degrading to this group to think this. It's just like, well, I can't help what I think. I can just help how I, how I deal with once I have that thought. What do I do with that thought? Do I use my brain to try to go past it so I, so I, don't, I don't treat people poorly based off of that? Well, that's, that's what I think people should do. But apparently you're, you're just not supposed to think certain things. And that's weird. That's thought police stuff as far as I'm concerned. And uh, so, yeah, um, I haven't been in a very good mind space today at all. Um, When someone drops friendship with me over things like that, it just. You know, and then I start questioning, well, what if they're right? It doesn't make sense to me right now, but what if they're right? And I always have this what if thing, right? So. Yeah, I think I'll end this video now. Have a nice day.